Dr. Pedro Andrade. He is our University of Arizona Precision Ag Specialist. And he's going to talk today about some, uh, a new piece of equipment he's been working with. It's scan and spray technology, and uh, it's part of our focus on herbicide resistant weed management. And so we'll go through a couple, uh, a little bit of the system that he's working with, kind of talk about the individual components, how it works, and then the overall project as a whole. So, uh, Dr. Andrade, can you tell us uh, kind of how you got into this specific system and uh, just a brief overview of the whole thing? Sure. So, um, this is a fairly new project. This is the second year that we are doing field work in cotton. And um, we are particularly interested, interested in, in, in using sensors to detect the presence uh, of weeds and then spray them. So the principle of operation of these sensors is based on light reflectance. And for this particular frame that we are testing today, uh, what we have is a Trimble Weed Seeker 2 unit. So let me, let me for reference, uh, mention about the history of Weed Seeker. Um, many years ago, there was this um, first version of Weed Seeker, and this was bought by Trimble in the early 2000s. And this is what we know as the Generation 1 Weed Seeker. You can kind of see that there is some uh, area where, where the light is emitted and the light is then um, registered. So this product was um, available in the early 2000s. Dr. Bill McCloskey did a lot of work uh, here in Arizona using this particular um, sensor. He did a lot of work, a lot of progress. But what we have now, it's, a, it's an advanced version of it. This Trimble, Trimble with Seeker 2 it uses the same principle, but has improved electronics. And the other thing is the controller in the power unit has more computational power and is, is doing fast calibration. So it's a much more improved uh, product. And that's what we're testing here. Excellent. So could I ask you a little bit about uh, kind of the operating system associated with the Trumbull units? Is this kind of a plug and play in any system or does it have to be a tractor setup with the Trimble Autosteer system? No, it's completely separate than, than any other function of the, of the sprayer. So it's, it's a standalone kind of um, installation. But that's a good point that, that reminds me that the controller, which is that display that is in the cab, you can use, the growers can use the same display that they use for other operations like, like auto steer, listing, that can be upgraded, install the software for this, and then they can control it out of that same display. So it's only about um, the new hardware to be, to be installed. Excellent. And then so as far as the sensors themselves, are they uh, able to just mount on any toolbar in any system and kind of be adapted to each individual system? Or is it a little bit more specific than that? Pretty much, uh, it's, it's, um, it's, it's for the, um, for the user to decide how it best fits their, their, um, their application. And that takes me to something that is very unique to this particular setting, uh, working cotton. That's the, the, the setup that we built was to have these uh, hoods where the plants are then squeezed into the center, opening up a larger um, cross-sectional area of the furrow. Okay. So that uh, place tells you how much you can adapt the sensor to, uh, to a particular application. So in this case for cotton, we are, we are after spraying the herbicide of those weeds that are between between uh, plant rows. And in this configuration, at this height, and, and all the geometry taken into account, we are basically uh, scanning uh, 85% of the, of, the, of the area and therefore we can spray that, that, that area. 50% will be the seed line. So if you're, have, have you done any work with this in say smaller pot? So getting in the field at three, four, five leaf cotton to try to really get those small weeds that are just germinating with the standard cotton. That is our, uh, our goal. Uh, in 2021, 
we were delayed by uh, the availability of the hardware, we were delayed by other reasons, so we did a number of testing, but still I would call it preliminary. Our, our goal is to uh, enhance weed control in the early phases of stopping the road. Okay, can you, briefly, can you briefly go over how the computer picks up the spectra signature on the ground and processes it? into the computer and then eventually put the spray into that correct spot. Sure, sure. Let me give you a brief um, description of how the system works and, and what needs to happen so that performance is, is at the optimum. First is calibration. So these sensors, um, when we start the day, we, we put them in a position in the field that's representative of the whole field. And, and with that calibration, the system is, is now going to be uh, we add the margin, and from that it is a threshold. So you, when you say calibration for uh, the spectral response of the, okay. of the soil, which is okay. very different than the spectral right. response of any any live um, plant, any any vegetation. So once that threshold is being defined, then we can go into the field and do our spray. And there are two parts for that spray. The first one is detection. So the sensors themselves, in this particular configuration, they are looking, there's a field of view that is covering uh, 31 inches down. So everything that is shown in those, uh, in, the, in, in, in that cross section, anything that is green will be sprayed. So this is, this, this is the detection. And then the actuation is done by a solenoid operated that is right in the same line, in the middle of the curve. Okay? So the way it works is, you can imagine, the machine is moving, it then detects that there is a weed in any particular position, and then sends the signal to the solenoid to open and spray that, that, that weed. And, each, and depending on, on certain settings, it, it will allow certain length or, or, or amount of time before the presence of the weed and after the presence of the weed. Okay. Also, I forget one, one important point that this unit has to have a tank for chemical mixtures, uh, a pump to to, um, to pressurize the fluid and have it ready in pressurized uh, in high pressure so that when the solenoid opens, it will spray. So that's it's, it's just like that, it's simple. If I were to summarize it, one, uh, one way for me to, to, to describe it is this is a dynamic system that is learning as we go up and down. So that calibration is dynamic. And that's one of the optimizations for these new weed seeker tools. And on this project outside of the university? Yes, so very important that we have had the financial support of Cotton Incorporated, um, that is for funding from Cotton Inc. And we also have support from the Arizona Cotton Growers Association. That's on a year-by-year -year basis as we did, as we generate more information than those those grants are renewed. And very important is to recognize the support of Trimble, the company that builds these sensors and, and control systems. They are helping us with hardware to to work on these systems. So uh, it's a um, it's a uh, combination of private sector, which is Trimble company, it is uh, University of Arizona, and there is also a, that's a public uh, sector, and of course um, commodity groups like Cotton Incorporated and uh, Cotton Global Association. Excellent. And, and when do you think we'll be able to implement this sort of technology in our cotton production systems here in Arizona? Well, um, my, my goal, my intention is to have 2022 as a year of very extensive testing in small plot research to the point that the following year we can be thinking about taking this testing to a larger scale, a full field, 50 acre field, section of field that we can manage this and, and then have the scale to represent that real condition. I just want to thank you, um, Blaze, for coming over and, and see this operation. I also want to recognize John Hume. He is a staff engineer. Um, we are thankful for, for your report. Excellent. Thank you very much, and thanks for demonstrating this piece of 
piece of equipment to us. I, I really hope we get to use it in the near future, cut down on operating costs, and reduce all these resistant Palmer amaranth weeds we have grown in abundance in Pinal County and all across Arizona. So with that, we'll sign off and thank everyone at home for watching. Thank you.